tuned for the next edition of a commonly held, critically acclaimed, fan favorite, Persona 4. And uh, again, I have to keep. Again, I have to tell you that I did not know what to expect when I got this game. I did read uh, some. Um, uh, some gaming magazine where they uh, praised the game to no end. And uh, then, of all places, I walked into um, some place and uh, found a used copy on um, Iceland, of all places. I went and got the game, and I got the soundtrack along with it, and I absolutely hate the soundtrack, but I... Well, I did not think much of the game when I first started it. I, it well, it just didn't pull me in right off the bat, like uh, Shimasaka did. But the characters, they are the main draw of the game, and uh, I mean, they sort of became real people to me. The uh, dialogue writing in the Persona games, I mean, the gameplay is really not bad, but the uh, character interactions, the dialogue writing, that is where it is at. The Persona games are a masterclass of dialogue writing. Maybe some characters are, well, not as enjoyable as others. Uh, I think uh, some um, have a complaint about the... Uh, I forget what arcana that is. The uh, fat guy in Persona 3. Uh, I think they've pointed him out as being a really bad character and uh, fair enough he's not a likable character at all but the rest of the cast uh, it's very colorful <laughs> and uh, they are well yeah just play the game see for yourself if you have not uh, bothered to pick up uh, any of the Persona games yet I recommend all of them Okay, well, I've only played Persona 3, 4, and 5, but, well, how much worse could the other games in the series be? Um, so, yeah, Persona 4, seal of approval. I had no idea I'd have so much fun with that game when I started it. Um, yeah, that's all. <laughs>